Hey, this is the Chair Guy. I just wanted to clear up a few misconceptions because of some comments I've gotten recently on some of my videos. What exactly is the chair system? Well, first of all, a lot of it is just a pattern, and that pattern you can use in any way you want. It's just showing you how the notes are laid out on the fretboard, and you can use them to make scales and chords and kind of whatever you want. As far as theory is concerned, I tend to only teach just enough theory to help you play. I actually study a lot more about theory, but I don't pay a whole lot of attention to certain aspects of it because I'm a very overly analytical player, and I know that a lot of my viewers are as well, and we will obsess over literally anything we can. So even though I will learn a lot of aspects of music theory that maybe go beyond this, I try to streamline this as much as I can for all of you because I don't want you to think about it too much. If you want to get into those aspects of music theory, please do. The more you learn, the more you know. But I also find I have to shift you know, some of that to the back of my mind when I play because Everything on this is theory. If you are playing chord shapes, if you're playing scale shapes, anything you play on guitar is going to kind of fit into theory one way or the other. But what I am most interested in personally is playing by feel, and so that is how I gear all of this. It is not trying to teach you every aspect of music theory. It's to put as much music theory as necessary onto the fretboard. Uh, for instance, you know, I put the circle of fifths onto the fretboard just so that you can know what chords are associated with different keys and things like that. But you'll notice I don't really use flats much. It's not because I don't believe in flats or because I don't know how flats are used. And you definitely have to understand how to use both sharps and flats if you're talking to other musicians. But generally, I just put everything in sharps because this is a pattern-based system. And so just having everything as, sh as sharps is significantly easier for doing certain things. Also, when, for instance, like this guitar is set up for minor, for E minor, and you'll notice that it just says one, two, three. It doesn't say flat three. Uh, people who say flat three, what they are telling you is how the minor scale, the Aeolian scale, whatever you want to call it, is associated to the major scale. Since this is all pattern based, I don't particularly care about that. As far as I'm concerned, you could just base everything on minor and it really wouldn't make any difference because I just want to program all of these sounds into my head so that when I'm playing over backing tracks or when I'm playing or when I'm jamming with people, whatever I'm doing, my fingers know where to go. They know where the sounds are. And so that is why certain aspects of music theory, I just don't get into a whole lot on this channel, even though I will teach you bits and pieces just because I, I do want everyone to have a basic understanding of, of how things work, but the chair system itself is, is a streamlined, practical playing system that, for me anyway, is really aimed at playing by feel. And again, for the rest of you, anyone who wants to play more academically, that's totally fine. That's great. Learn everything you can. Watch all the videos you possibly can because every bit of knowledge is helpful to us. And remember guys, if you check out my website, musicalchairsystem.com, you can get diagrams and stickers and even a free diagram.